this is how to run a heater that is set up on a manual system, um, either on a timer or in this case on a variable speed pump. So in this, in this case, a homeowner will have to know how to turn the pump on and also turn the heater on um, independent of each other. Uh, so Shane's gonna run this through this for, for you real quick. Okay, so if you have a timer box, we're gonna make sure that we have power and it stays on because you have a variable speed pump and that also supplies power to the heater. So verify that it is on, don't need to touch the timer anymore. And then we'll go over here, oh, uh, am I enabling a cycle? Yeah. You already have one on the preset or? Yes. Which is number one. One. Okay, so I'm gonna start from the beginning. So right at the menu button, I'm gonna push down, go into program one through eight and select it. And then you said number three? Uh, one. Okay, so program number one, I'm gonna select it. And it already shows that it's on an egg timer. So I'm gonna push down to find out it's set up for flow. It's set up at 40 gallons per minute, which is the minimum allowed for a master temp 400 heater. Uh, so we've already got a 10 hour, uh, am I putting this to a schedule? That's fine. Do the egg timer initially then. Oh, okay. So it's already set up for an egg timer. Uh, so that's everything there is to know about an egg timer. It's set up 10 hours to run as an egg timer. And then if you want to set up your system on a schedule, 24 hour uh, schedule, just in case 10 hours is not enough for this heater to work. Um, Shane will show you how to set it up on a 24 hour schedule and then we will disable it after we set it up initially. Okay, so we'll start from the beginning again. Menu button, settings, go down into your programs, one through eight. In this case, we're gonna use program one. So we're gonna press select the hot to choose it. And then where it says egg timer, I'm gonna press select to highlight it. And I'm gonna change that to schedule. And then I'm gonna press save to confirm it. And now it's set up for a schedule. So <clears throat> it's set up for flow. It's already set up for 40 gallons per minute. But now I, instead of a, <clears throat> egg timer duration now I'm gonna have a start time and a stop time this is the start time so at 12 a.m. so I'm gonna go ahead and go to stop uh, stop time which is at 1159 so it's gonna run 23 hours 59 minutes so basically 24 hours and that's it it's already saved so from there we can just hit the start button and then when you hit number one it'll run a 24-hour schedule and then if you want to disable it, he will show you now how to disable that schedule. So that way, if you're gone for a week or whatever it may be, and you don't want your heater to run any longer, he'll show you how that works. So we'll start from the beginning again. Go to menu, back into programs, back to program number one. And in this case, I'll just put it back to an egg timer because it's not going to start unless you push the button anyway. So schedule, press select the highlight, and I'm going to change that back to egg timer. Save. So now it's set up as it was previously for a 10 hour run as an egg timer at 40 gallons per minute. And that pump will not turn on on that egg timer unless you press number one. It's gonna go right. back to its regular schedules after that. And now Shane will show you how to turn on a heater after we get it running. So we're gonna go ahead and run the pump now and we're gonna turn this heater on. So we're dealing with a uh, Pentair Master Temp 400 heater. If you look here at the display, there's nothing on it right now. Um, it does have power to it, but Shane will now instruct you in how this will work. So it's very simple. This is the way I tell people in the backyard. Very simple, it has five buttons. You've got it off, so that's how you turn it off, obviously. Pool on, spa on. That just means you have two different set temperatures. So if you turn on the pool, right now it's gonna show you what the current temperature is. And if you push the up or down button, it'll show you what your sip temperature is. So right now it's showing that the water temperature is at 50. If I push it up, it's at 70. <clears throat> uh, and if you push spa, it's gonna show you your current temperature. And if you push up or down, like in this case, set it to 95. Uh, the heater doesn't know whether or not you have it in full or spa mode. It's just two different set temperatures. And that's basically it. And then, yeah, if you're all done heating, basically, and all you have to do then is turn the heater off. That's it.